Many students get very much intimidated when they are to write out a stockholders or shareholders equity section of the balance sheet. It's not that scary if you have a clear understanding of what this, this structure really looks like. This is a graphical representation of this section and I'm going to go ahead and point out some key elements for you. So obviously we will start with the equity section itself. It has two main parts to it. The first one is paid in or contributed capital. That's the amount that was received from the shareholders. They paid in into the company or they contributed that capital. And it may not have been necessarily in cash. It could have been services or um, assets that they brought in to start the cor corporation. The second one, retain earnings. Um, two words, they're exactly what they are. Earnings retained in the corporation, meaning not given away as dividends. So year to year, you will have net income and net losses coming in. Um, and then you will distribute dividends out of this section. And then whatever is left is retained in the company. The third part that is usually uh, presented at the very bottom of the section is what's called treasury stock. And if you see, I try to make them yellow and I put it in parentheses, why? Treasury stock is subtracted from the whole equity section. Um, if we take a look at the paid in side of the equity, it separates into two big parts. The first one is capital stock and the second one is additional paid in capital. Um, there are two major parts of capital stock, which will be your preferred, maybe I'll put triangles by them, and common. Preferred is usually listed the first. And you would, you can have three additional paid in capital from preferred, from common, and from treasury stock. Now, please do remember overall that if you take a look at these accounts, all these uh, normal equity accounts, their balances will be credits. Not on the balance sheet, just overall their bal balances are credits. Treasury stock is a contra equity account, so for this account, normal balance will be debit. Now, if you were to take a look and open any balance sheet and take a close look at the equity section, you will see all of these written out, but they're all the same except in writing, and this is a graphical representation. I hope it was helpful for you.